Some of the most well-known cartoons have come to an end in the past few years, but nothing lasts forever. At the very least, we can look forward to all the awesome cartoons heading our way in 2020. I don't know what else to say to intro the video other than, let's just jump right into it. Number 5 is Camp Coral's Spongebob's Under Years. Okay, okay, I'm aware of the controversy behind the Spongebob spinoff series, and yeah, some of it is completely understandable. Nick is using the sponge cash cow to expand into other things besides the main show, and that's where Camp Coral comes in. This is a prequel spin-off series that focuses on the residents of Bikini Bottom when they were younger and when they met at summer camp. Now look, this is at the bottom of my top 5 for a reason. I'm mainly looking forward to it just to see how it is and because we've never gotten anything like it over the 20 years of Spongebob on Nickelodeon. The fact that it's in CG may turn some people away, but I think Sponge on the Run's trailer gave me hope, especially when you realized how beautiful it looks there. Like, come on, this is great. Not only that, but Camp Coral is being produced by several people from the Spongebob crew, so it should hopefully have the same heart heart and charm that made the original series so popular. Maybe I'm being too optimistic, but at the very least it'll be interesting to see Spongebob in a completely new way. Number 4 is Solar Opposites. Coming from Rick and Morty creator Justin Roiland is a different cartoon called Solar Opposites. The story centers around this strange alien family who must adapt to life on Earth, and that's all she wrote. The story is basic, but the sci-fi vibes I'm getting here is exactly the same as what you all know from the highest level IQ show on television. Rick and Morty reached a point where it's been consistently hit or miss since season 3, so it's nice to see Justin try his hand at a different show. Magicians, black holes, goobblers, and the pupa. Look at the pupa, I told you to stop giving the pupa candy. He can't eat candy, it gets him sick. Oh, oh. Solar Opposites may not have a unique feel from it when compared to Rick and Morty, but given the really funny teaser, it should still be worth a watch. Number 3 is Adventure Time Distant Lands. Adventure Time may have ended in late 2018, but Cards and Eric surprised pretty much everyone when they announced that the series would be returning in the form of hour-long specials. What's weird is that they never allowed time to pass between the series finale and this announcement, and instead, they just jumped right in with news of its continuation. Oh no, it's time to say farewell to Finn and Jay! Just kidding, welcome to distant lands. Still, I think seeing Finn, Jake, and the Land of Ooh once again will revive part of the classic cartoon arc renaissance era because we can finally follow their adventures once again. The hour-long format also works really well for a series like this because of just how story-driven it is and how much of the world there is to explore. Number 2 is Close Enough. When another one of Cartoon Arc's beloved cartoons, Regular Show, came to an end, fans were pretty disappointed. I think the series finale is by far the best out of the main renaissance finales, but whatever, that's a different topic for a different day. Creator JJ Quintel moved on to Close Enough, a spiritual successor that works very much as a more mature version of regular show. You just spelled with an E. Damn it! $25. This series revolves around a millennial couple, their young daughter, and their divorced friends who live with them in a Los Angeles duplex, where some crazy things happen. Fans have been waiting more than a few years for this, and it's finally coming to HBO Max in 2020. I think it'll manage to fill the void regular show left behind, while also standing on its own two feet as something completely unique. JG's done a lot of cool stuff in the world of animation, which means Close Enough is in great hands. And number one is The Cuphead Show. Okay, Okay, technically this may come out in 2021, but I wanted to include it in the video anyway. Cuphead is going from video game to an animated series on Netflix, and it's honestly one of the most fitting things that could be turned into a cartoon. The game has always been a love letter to 1930s animation, and what better way to represent that than by becoming a cartoon itself? As of right now, we really don't have much information about the Cuphead show other than that it's happening, but if it's anything like the iconic indie game, then we're about to be treated to some serious eye candy. Any and all animation from the game just feels super smooth in motion, and this is definitely one of the cartoons I'm looking forward to the most. But what are your thoughts of the upcoming cartoons of 2020, and which ones are you looking forward to that I didn't mention here? Let's talk in the comments. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos, give a thumbs up, and comment below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.